Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to look into the AR kit. Now as you can understand from the title, it's regarding um, uh, the plane detection only. Um, I'll add in a few more uh, episodes this, to this uh, series so that you can uh, place an object on a plane as well. So for now we are going to just look into the plane detection. I'm going to show you how it's going to be done. So basically it's going to detect a plane and update its um, surface according to um, how much um, you know plane detection can do. So as you can see this whole bed is a plane so it's detecting that and it's expanding accordingly. Okay so I'm going to close that now. So uh, we'll uh, start with the project. Um, in order to start with the project, open the Xcode, uh, click on New and click on Project and you should select the, the Augmented Reality app, click Next and then after that you're good to go. So you'll get to see something like this. We are going to check what is provided to us and we are going to quickly run that uh, so that we can understand. Well, as you can see, here you can see a plane. Now, let me quickly close that. Now that is done, uh, we have to move forward to the plane detection part. So what we are going to do is first change the configuration. So as you can see, um, it's been configured, but it is not specifically configured to detect planes. So what we are going to do is we are going to write configuration dot um, plane detection. So as you can see a value specifying whether and how the session attempts to automatically detect flat surfaces in the camera captured image. So it's basically how uh, you know it should attempt. Uh, so how it should attempt is just attempt the horizontal ones. Okay so it's going to just detect the horizontal planes and this is the setting that we have to do first. Now once that is done and once that is out of here we are going to look into the renderers. Just type in did add node. Uh, now did add node as the name suggests it's gonna add a node uh, for us in the scene so that for example if we detect a plane we should be able to see a plane node on it so that we can understand that there's a plane there. So we'll do one thing, we'll uh, quickly check if... Um, okay, so God let plane anchor equal to... So this is the anchor that's been provided. This is just a plain anchor. It's going to detect everything basically. Now we need specifically only for a plain anchor. We, we are searching for a plain anchor specifically. So we are going to try to see if this is um, an AR plain anchor instead of only um, a simple anchor. Once we have detected that, we are going to move forward. But if we don't, we're just going to return. We are not interested in rest of the anchors. Uh, that is done. Okay, let me just change that. Now, once that is done, uh, let's do one thing. Let's just print it out and see if it can detect. So here I'm writing plane detected. Okay. Uh, along with this, we're going to need one more function, uh, which is called did update. There it is. Now, did update does the same thing, it's just that it updates regularly. So, add node is just going to add that node once, and update is going to update that Parkland node uh, with the updated, um, you know, anchor. So, let's, let's have a look at it, and then you'll get to understand. So, God, do the same thing, plain anchor. I should have just copied anyways so anchor as a r plane anchor else return right 
Now I'm going to print here flame updated. Okay. Now let's have a look as to what are we uh, looking at right now. So as you can see, plane is updated. So as you can see, um, plane is being detected and updated. So basically, detected is the part it gets add where the node will be uh, added and after that the node will be updated accordingly from time to time with the new updated anchors. So let's quickly work on that. Let's say uh, we are going to get in all the length, I mean uh, the width and the height of this plane anchor so that we can add it to the new plane node uh, that we'll be placing on that. So yeah, let's do that then. Let me just add this as CG float and let me check the plane anchor dot extent so if you can see the estimated width and length of the detected plane so you can understand from that dot so we are looking at two areas one is um, x and one is z so that is on the surface of a plane so if you don't understand what i mean uh, basically this this is a plane right okay so uh what happens here is x, y, and z, right? So if I just increase or decrease x, this is going to be on the plane. If I increase and decrease z, this is going to be on the plane. But if I increase or decrease y, it's going to be below or above the plane. Okay, so if you understand this concept, you're good to go. So basically, uh, we're going to take extent, but we're going to take uh, the extent only of the x and y coordinate. Okay, Let, uh, sorry, x and z coordinate. So height equal to cgf plane anchor dot extent dot z. Now that is done, okay? Uh, we got the width and height. Now we need to add this to um, a plane, right? So we are gonna create an SCN plane and we're gonna add this width and height into that. So let us create a plane of type SCN plane okay so a rectangular one-sided plane geometry of specified width and height this is exactly what we need and um, so they're asking for width and height right let's add that width and height plane is done now we need to add a node of this plane so that we can add it into the scene so if you are a little familiar with it, uh, notice what works in scene kit. So we have to make a note of that. Okay, now we are done with this. Let's add the node for this. So plane node equal to SCN node. And we are gonna add the geometry as this plane. That is it. Uh, lastly, once that is done, we are going to add in the node. So this is a plane node. We are going to add it into the scene. So node dot add child node and the plane node. Okay. So that is it. Now we'll try to check what is the outcome of this. Now. This is what you're seeing, okay? This is not what you want. You don't want this to be straight, but we want it to be flat, okay? So that is what we're gonna do. So you know that it has added 
and uh, you know that it shouldn't be like that. So basically, in order to change uh, its position, we are going to add in. Uh, I mean, not position; it's angle. We are going to add in a node dot euler angles. So the nodes orientation, um, roll angles, and radians. So it's basically coming in radians. And what we are going to do is okay. So you can see now it's on the uh, flat surface. Okay. Now maybe um, okay. So maybe you want to update this. So let's quickly update that. Now we are done with adding. Okay, and obviously, uh, to be more precise, uh, I would suggest you to get the center of the plane anchor and add it as its position. So I, I'll show you that just to be on the safe side because that makes sure that you're taking the right position. So let me quickly do that for you guys. And you need to set its position, so yeah, this needs to come later. Okay, and uh, you're gonna add the plane node position, and uh, it follows SCN vector 3 uh, for all three directions, and We'll add that all in CG float mode type set. Okay, that is it basically. And um, let's rerun this. It's you're not gonna see much of a change, but this is just to make sure that things work well, and it won't happen in the future. So yeah, so as you can see, it's it's not getting updated with the new um, anchors. Okay, it's not spreading. It should spread all the way and detect this whole bed as um, the plane. So we are going to quickly do that. Okay, now next, we are going to quickly grab this. And add it here. Now, plane anchor is detected. Now we are gonna get the node. So, if you remember, node is already added. We need to just update it. So let let us get the plane node. Okay, and we are gonna get it in here. Node dot show channel start first. That's it. We got the node, now we need to get the plane of the sparkler node. So, uh, we have to make sure that it is of SCN plane type. Uh, let me explain. Okay, plane node for geometry. So if you remember, we have set it as geometry, so it's just, it's just the same thing, okay? Okay, now geometry as we are going to add in as SCN plane. Okay, if not SCN plane, we are going to return and that's it. Now we got the plane, we got the width and height of the updated um, anchor. Now we are going to update this plane accordingly. Okay, plane dot width. Equal to the width and plane dot height equal to the height. That's done. Okay, plane is updated. Now next, we need to update the position accordingly. So that's when you know this thing comes in. You have to make sure that you are adding it in the right place. Okay. So we are adding the new position as well, and we are updating it accordingly. So that is it. 
second. Now let's quickly run that and see if things are working well. It's detecting and it's updating it accordingly and it's not getting over the bed size. So this is the plane. Okay. So now this is white color. I had yellow color in my uh, in the beginning um, the demo project that I showed you guys. So we can add in material as well. And if you are acquainted with the same kit, you'll know that we can add in material. Right, so um, you can change its texture, you can uh, add in the diffuse, and basically, you can add in stuff. So, we are going to use diffuse here as well, and we are going to add in the color. Okay, so let's do before play note. Play. Uh, dot materials dot first dot diffuse dot contents. So again, visual contents of a material property. This is what we exactly want. We need to change the color of this. So we are going to take that and we are going to add in a color. So say UI color dot yellow. Uh, let, let's change the Color, let's take it green. Okay, if you want to add alpha as well, so I would usually add alpha, it just makes it look uh, glossy. So, this is what it's gonna look like. So, as you can see, it looks quite glossy. And you can see on which component it's actually, you know, increasing its size on. Okay, let's remove this airship. And that's it. You are done for today. And uh, hope you guys have enjoyed my tutorial. And this is just the first part of the whole series. I'm gonna, um, you know, Add in um, a new series. I mean, a new episode in this coming uh, next week. So stay tuned, and hope to see you guys soon. Bye bye.